drop, gonna drop. And but that, it was something that you loved and that you wanted to do, right? And I still love it. I still love hip hop. I'm always gonna love hip hop, man. To so I'm, you know, old and gray, my nigga, like, you know what I mean? When you got music in your heart, you know, if rock music, rock and roll, all these other music genres, they could do music to their old. Hip hop finally got to that stage where you can be old and do music. Cause before, once you 30 years old or something in hip hop, they like, oh, you too old to rap. You feel me? Right. But now it don't matter. Now you see all these old motherfuckers getting on now. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to act like young boys. I'm not trying to act like young boys. Well, wait, 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 wait. Don't you think that there's still some of that old stigma, though? It's, it's still some of the old stigma there in it. But I mean, it's not it, it it's not as bad as it was back then. You feel me? Like back then. And what do you what do you think? What do you think changed that? I mean, honestly, I just think. Fucked up. Like West Side Gun and them mm. coming up. I and just stuff. think bad music. The bad music changed that. So much bad music made motherfuckers want real music. You feel me? So who was the ones doing real music? Niggas in the late 70s or 80s babies like me or you know what I'm saying? The 90s. You feel me? Like that's where the real music come from. So to me, I think they needed that still you know what i mean to make that shit kind of uh, even playing field because right now you know you, you know music is garbage nowadays you feel me motherfuckers is doing an album every fucking 10 days and shit <laughs> yeah you know I mean? yeah the way the, the way that we consume music is just so fast now right like yeah. if you remember back in the day it was like yo you took an album and you really lived with it yeah. you know you really like digested it and it took time and it was like, now it's just like, what have you done for me lately? Like, oh, mm -hmm. like one week I'm, I'm listening to this and it's like, that's old now. Let's move on to the next thing. Yeah. It's so yeah. crazy. That's why like before it was like a big deal if you dropped more than one album a year, right? Yeah. Now it's like people just cranking this shit out like, exactly. like it's nothing. Exactly. Like, and that's what we do now. I mean, but then you still got, you still got the artists that still give you that effect. Cause you know what I'm saying? I still got, you know, the, the the purple tape on my, you know, on rotation. I still got eat, you know, um nah shit on rotation. I still got J, I got Capital Punishment. I got, you know, some of the classic shit still on rotation. You feel me? Like right. you know, and there's a lot of um not only artists, there's a lot of people that that's like that. You feel me? That appreciate good music. So good music is always going, you know what I'm saying, outlast the bullshit, the gimmicks and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's always going to outlast it. That's a fact.